clear. Welcome to GBC News. This whole issue started on Twitter for from the hashtag fix the country, which was followed by hashtag fix yourself and then another hashtag fix your attitude. And now even hashtag Ghana is being fixed. I'll start with you, um, Mr. Tepe. What do you make of the argument so far? Thanks very much and good afternoon to our cherished viewers. Indeed, the calls are actually legitimate because uh, um, a lot of people are, are actually frustrated with the happenings around us, born out of the need for each and every one. So depending on where you fall, depending on where you belong, the happenings around you will actually determine the which you would like to go. And so um, across the sectors of the economy, um, we all know that every aspect has been impacted by the emergence of COVID. And it has been worsened by the economic um, burden that it has, it has brought, because of hardship that everybody is, is, is currently going through. Um, we all knew that during the COVID, over 700,000 um, redundancies were declared and incomes were actually cut short. Over 770,000 staff, um, 770,000 um, work hours have been also been affected. And then over 46,000. Uh, these are all issues that are bothering on the minds of people. And definitely, um, our individual circles where we work, where we belong to, the system seems not to be working the way we expected. And definitely, anybody who is in that category will be frustrated. And that is exactly what is happening. So the cause are actually in the right direction. But the main cause is attitudinal change. Um, Nobody will fix the country for us unless we fix it ourselves. Let me quickly bring in um, Dr. Dr. Yeboa into this because you've mentioned attitudinal change. Um, Dr. Yeboa, thank you for joining us. There are those who um, are calling for a, a, an adjustment in attitude from Ghanaians. To what extent can attitudinal change by Ghanaians be, uh, be of help to our economic recovery? Thank you very much. I think uh, my brother Peter Tepe knew it's right on the head. I think what we need to understand as a people is that we cannot be able to uh, change it, not come to about changing the and fixing the country. Everybody had a role to play in Politicians would have their role to play. Uh, journalists would have their role to play. Market, market women would have their role to play. Farmers would have their role to play. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry who find himself and claim, and as a Ghanaian, would have a role to play. And that's why I know that under the circumstances to and also build this country, this country. That has been the journey of this government voted into power. But there are other things that we understand that when it comes to changing the various critical aspects of our the country would look like Paris or look like US or any country that we all know of. You cannot go out there and refuse to pay your electricity bill and use other illegal to get electricity and corrupt uh, uh, public officers and expect that things will work out. So all of us do have a place. I think that we have what to do. On, on, on the current government. We expect members of parliament, we expect the executive, I think that would be the way of changing and transforming this country. So Dr. Yeboah, you admit that 
as it appears from what we see on at least um, Twitter from the trends that we've, we've noticed, the campaign is largely on political lines. And depending on who you ask, it appears the opposition NDC and its supporters are tag fix the country and then Ghana is fixing it and Ghana is being fixed. How does this help the, move the conversation forward? That is the difficulty associated with how we do our politics in this country. And we try to move politics into every sort of discussion that ought to be of a national in character. We try to import politics in it. And once that comes into the conversation, it changes and it dilutes the focus of the discussion. Because what are the issues here? There are issues because as a country and as a, a world, we know that COVID has brought it on toll that that to the point that even UK is in, in, in depression. The US economy is struggling. They are, they, are, they are struggling. We have all kinds of countries growing in the negative. Ghana is among the few countries that are growing in the positives. So in, the, in terms of the political front, things are being done. We realize that this is a government that is being applauded by the international community, being applauded by even our, our mates in the West African Soccer In terms of sort of decisions that have been taken to arrest the, the, the impact COVID would have had on our citizens and also our lives. Government is working this way. Declare second year of food. Roads are being constructed. We are there are more, more need to be done on that regard. Government is doing that. Education, there's heavy investment in education to the point that now we have free education happening in this country. That parents can now save this money they would have used in paying school fees and using for other sort of expenditures. Now we are seeing our health system, more investment going in the agenda, 111, and other things happening. Hold your horses there for me, Dr. Eboa. So what it may be tempted to say on behalf of the government, you make um, your argument tilted towards you admit from our policy analyst is telling us that the, the calls which has led to the hashtags are very legitimate. There are indeed issues with employment, issues with and all the other concerns that the other side have raised. I think I, I will not sit here and then um, say that uh, every problem that confronts this country has been solved since the inception of this country. It has not been possible for any government to resolve the challenges of any country within uh, three years, three and a half years, four years. It is not possible. It has not been done. But we equally ought to appreciate the enormous work that has been done so far. But it tells you that the Ghanaians are asking for accountability from their leaders. But in the sense, let's be citizens and not spectators. So, because, right. I mean, you are calling for rules. You are calling for uh, uh, electricity. When these things are provided, let's make sure that we do take care of it. We pay our due as citizens. When we talk about making sure that at least we pay our taxes to help transform the country, because at the moment, at the end, they, we hear a lot of conversation happening and all discussing about the, 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 the debt sustainability issues of any country. Let right. me ask yourself. If you are a leader in a country like Ghana, when you talk about increasing taxes, a lot of people will come up in arms and demand why are you increasing taxes. People will be when you want to, when you decide to sort of go and borrow, people will ask you why are you going out there to borrow? Because I understand them. Right. When you talk so about let excessive me, borrowing and this impact on any economy. Right. Let me let me engage. Let me engage would help transform the country, that will help the future generation, that our future unborn children will come and take it on their behalf by we who are currently in the system. Um, Peter, I'll come to you quickly. Are we diluting the focus, as Dr. Yeboa is telling us, by using social media to, to demand from governance and I'm asking this because some have decided to remain on the fence for the simple reason that it appears to be a political ping-pong which has been with us for ages and their argument is the experts 
and not the politicians can steer us they can steer us out of the quagmire that we we find ourselves in do you agree has brought is to get your voice um, normally will not have access to um, government and then and, and as a result important role and reach out even to their assemblymen to be able to voice out what I mean actually affecting them in their various and so they believe that when they get to the social media, they have the larger platform. People looking for means by which they can, and that is how come it has Of course, um, it's, 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 it's in the right direction, because that is where you, you are concerned. Go from here. We practice in this country is one of the um, challenges that we have as a people. We are practicing winner takes all. We are each government is four years. The policies. We campaign with campaign manifestos. The kind of things we put in the manifestos are not programs or um, any government that comes into office. The first two years is just like the president. That is critical sectors of the economy where we should not let political parties develop You have um, housing and these are very critical aspects of If a government comes, they start, they are unable to finish. Another government comes, they have their, they don't go back. The government has started. But Let me so we need a national development policy to address this problem. Right. Thank you, Peter. I'll take your final words on what government intends to do, especially because we are here. Hints of a possible protest underway. Um, Dr. Yeboah, I'll give you your final comment on this. I think government will remain focused and uh, carry the citizens along with its other uh, projects and also policies and programs that government is implementing. Government are very fair to the ordinary people of this country. Right from the session of this administration, realized that uh, during the first term, government took bold decision to do a lot of things that will sort of take away. The I think action. that can be visit Can talk about. I think that the signal may be, may be, may be. Industrial completely, some of them have been dashing. We saw the introduction of free SHS that came in to sort of reduce hardship that way on parents. We've seen uh, the, the introduction of uh, 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 policy like free money for back court counsel. Now we talking about teacher training allowance. These are some of the policies we see on the ordinary guy. Okay, all right, doctor. Finish. It's
I'm finished on. Which has been dominating social media circles.